So we're set to get underway here in the second half. Fresh 20 minutes put on that scoreboard. And again, it's 45-31 Potsdam. Skidmore is going to start the second half with the ball. Got to get something going here as the Thoroughbreds have struggled offensively here in the last 10 or so minutes. Riley Green is going to start with possession right near that horse logo in midcourt. We're back underway again. He drives the lane, kicks a corner, coops this back out to Lamport. Lamport tries to get it into Scork. That one's tipped away, and the aggressiveness continues for the Bears. It's now fast break time as Mishon Johnson couldn't get that one to fall, and good transition defense that time for the Thoroughbreds as they got back there in a hurry to knock that one away, and it goes off the hands of Johnson, which that should have been a textbook layup, but Skidmore made it difficult for him, and... It's going to be a technical foul now, and looks like that's going to go against Tyrese Baptiste. And remember, the ref was talking to Baptiste when he was on the line earlier as, uh, you know, it looked like he was trying to get him set, but he was sharing some words with Baptiste. And now I guess Baptiste has said a little bit too much out there. Again, the junior from Brooklyn obviously had uh, some comments thought maybe that should have been a foul or whatever whatever he thought can't really hear him from up here but Baptiste gets hit with the technical so Coops is at the line hits the first second shot also good for Coops so again not quite sure what was said hard to hear from up here but the ref teed him up pretty quick and he's got to be careful now as that's his second personal but if he gets another technical He's going to be uh, watching the game from the comfy chairs on the sideline. So Skidmore, two shots in the ball, both of them made by Coops. This 45-33 now, down to 12. Skidmore's going to get it back again off the technical, and that's Riley Green. Green over to Coops. This Coops is uh, to score at top of the arc. Back over to Eichelberger again, being deed very well up there. Back over to Coops. This wide open, back rim, no. Rebound pulled down by Baptiste now. And Potsdam coming back down the other way. Again, Potsdam, we really didn't know what to expect from them. We know what they looked like in 2019 when they won 17 games, but we weren't quite sure what to expect out of them this season as, again, they have not played a game yet. I don't really have a previous game you know, to base anything off of. We do know that Skidmore won an ugly one on Saturday afternoon against Stevens Tech, and there's Riley Green with the steal. He's going to take it himself and lay it off the glass, and it's 4 nothing to start this half. For the Thoroughbreds. As now this one is going to be taken back over that half-court stripe by Mishon Johnson. The defense chant coming from the Skidmore bench here. The crowd here at Williamson starting to get loud. They've been pretty quiet for most of the day. Now starting to come alive a little bit. Johnson drives, looks inside Baptiste. Baptiste up and under move, got it to go. So back to 47-35 now, 18-32 to go. Riley Green's got it right near that volleyball logo being deed well by Johnson. Throws it left side arc to Coops. This Coops this back to Eichelberger. He drives, pulls up, 15-footer. The floater got it. Eichelberger with a little soft touch and brings this thing back down to 10 now. Baptiste around to Seeger. Seeger pushes off a Lamport. No foul called there. And the pull up from Baptiste for three. That one rolls off. And the smallest player on the floor, Riley Green, grabs the rebound. Good box out that time by the little guy. Green's got it. He's deed well by Peter Kelly in the outside. Or Parker Kelly, rather. Excuse me. And there's Coops this from the corner. Yes, sir. The Lithuanian sensation has hit into a single-digit lead now. Lead is 7, 47-40. Skidmore's up 9-2 in this half. And again, the magic of Joe Burke here, whatever he said in the locker room, Skidmore has been the aggressor now starting off this half. But that one's missed by Seeger. That one's pulled down by Eichelberger and out of bounds. And I think it's going to stay with the Bears here. It is as it went off the fingertips of Harrison Eichelberger. 17.25 to go. Lead has been cut to seven. It was 14 left in three minutes ago. So here comes the inbound. 
Inbound's going to go to Baptiste. Baptiste's going to hand off. Oh, he's going to fake the handoff. Now he's going to give it to Johnson. Mishon Johnson has Riley Green out on him. Kick over to Houston. Houston has Lamport. Great defense by Lamport. Sticking to him like glue. Has to get rid of it. Finally finds Baptiste inside against Skorik. Doing work inside and puts it right over the top of the big man. And Baptiste using that body. He's got a little bit of a thicker frame. He's shorter. He's 6'7", so he's about four inches shorter than Skorik. But he's much thicker. And there's a three by Kupstis. He's heating up. Deep three by Kupstis that time. And it's back now to six. Skidmore right back in this thing after being down 14 at the half. Seeger pulls up. That one's off the mark. Pulled down by Kupstis into the hands of Green. And here come the Thoroughbreds now. Down only two possessions. And Kupstis getting hit. Another yes, sir. Big time shot. For the junior from Lithuania, and the lead is now down to three, 49-46. Kupsis strokes one, and with 16.26 to go, we got a ball game again, folks. We'll be back right after this, 16.26 to go. As it's been all thoroughbreds to start this half up 15-4. So off the timeout, Skidmore has cut this thing down to three. Remember, it was a 14-point deficit at the half. And now the energy level has picked up for the team in the white jerseys here. Potsdam looking a little flustered, not quite sure what to do here. All of a sudden, a flurry of scoring by the Thoroughbreds, but... Potsdam's just got to get back to what worked for them in the first half, and that's scoring inside. They're not the best three-point shooting team. They're a team known for physicality, and so far they have exploited that. As there's Baptiste again doing work against Skorik. Has to get rid of it. Nice pass down low, but there's a block. That one's thrown down by Lamport. Over to Koopstis now. Skidmore can tie the game with a three or cut it to one. Riley Green standing right on that horse logo. Calling out signals, now calls over, or passes over rather, to Lamport. Lamport to Koopsis. Can he hit number four? No. Pulls it down to the corner. Eichel Berger, deep three. No. That one's off the mark. Skorik fighting for it down low, taps it away, and out of bounds. And boy, I think the roof would have came off this place if he hit that. I mean, they're already starting to get loud here in Williamson. A good contingent of both. There's a couple of maroon-colored shirts here in the crowd as Potsdam has pretty good following but then again they've got a Ticonderoga kid a Lake George kid and a uh, player from Saratoga or Greenfield Center if you want to be technical on this team so uh, a lot of local talent here in the 518 for Potsdam as there's the drive for Seeger the turn the spin off the glass too strong and the rebound goes down to Green so Skidmore catching a break again Riley Green, left side arc, faked the handoff. Now he's going to drive the lane, throws it up, and the rim rocker. Greg Skorik throws it down with a little ramba jamba. It's a one-point game, 49-48. And the ball went into the crowd. So now it's reset, and Potsdam's got it back again. Nice look that time in the alley-oop from Green. And again, Skidmore's cut it to one. They lead 17-4 to four this half so far. And that's going to be a foul inside as Ty Lamport can't believe it. Lamport, that's going to be his second and team's second. 
So that's going to be Don, uh, number 32, Dante Viscovich, the senior from Messina, New York, is going to check in for Potsdam here. His first minutes of this contest, and we're going to have another timeout here. And I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera or not, but down here in the corner, it's Baptiste pleading his case to the refs. Remember, he got a technical call on him a little earlier on, and I don't know if he was apologizing or what he was doing there, but talking to the refs for a minute before going over to the huddle. So again, at 49-48, Potsdam lead, and what we have a minute here, we will be joining you again on the Skidmore Athletics Network on Monday, November 22nd, as Hartwick College comes to town. Once again, for those of you who know, that is my alma mater coming to town here. Always fun to play them. Always love calling that game. That is Monday the 22nd. And then Utica, a rival of mine at Hartwick, comes in here on the 30th. Uh, Clarkson and St. Lawrence also on December 3rd and 4th. Those are the next four home games in a row. After this, on Friday night, they go to Plattsburgh State and play on the road. So, again, Plattsburgh, Hartwick, Utica, Clarkson, St. Lawrence uh, before going on the road to Middlebury and then playing Claremont Mud Scripps. So, and, and then they start conference play, which is always, you know, its own beast. So, kind of a tough non-conference here for... Uh, for Skidmore, but, you know, tough competition leads to tough play, and Coach Joe Berg loves to schedule these these difficult non-conference games for a reason, to get them ready for that conference tournament down the stretch. There's Houston, 4-3, the step back, airballed that one, and now the student section letting him hear it. Potsdam definitely looking a little frazzled right now. Not the same team we saw in the first half after this offensive explosion by Skidmore. To the corner, there's Lamport. Deed very well by Seeger. Kicks it back out again. Left side arc to Green. Green gets the pick from Skorik. He comes around it, but Mishon Johnson did a good job of reacting to the screen. Riley Green throws it up. A little bit too strong. Skorik goes to the ground to get it, but so does Seeger. That one's stolen away now. Lamport. Lamport makes a move off the glass. Skidmore's got the lead. Lamport with the quick hands. And what can you say about this Skidmore team and Coach Joe Burke down 14 at the half? It looked like nothing was going their way. Now they've got the lead again with 14 minutes to go here. Baptiste again drives the lane up and under move. He rolls that home and Potsdam's back in front. So Baptiste has been the story here of the second half. He's now got 15 on the night. Green again, hands off to Koopstis. Koopstis lowered that shoulder. And the mouth guard goes flying. That's a good job setting his feet by Viskovich, and that's going to be a charge. Koops is pleading his case. He doesn't, he doesn't think it was a charge. He thought maybe Viskovich's feet were still moving, but I guess the refs are a lot closer to it than I am up here, uh, up in the, uh, the watchtower, as we call it. So Potsdam's going to get it back again. There's Mishan Johnson. Hands off to Baptiste. Baptiste drives the lane. Has it thrown away by Skorik. Big man says not in here. 51-50 now Potsdam lead. There's the kick. Corner. Lamport deep three. Yes, sir. Bang, bang. And the lamps are on for Lamport. Fire it up. 53-51. Skidmore back in front by two. But there we go again. We got a tie game. As Seeger hits it. And Seeger has been sort of the, the answer, the neutralizer here to any Skidmore momentum in the last two minutes or so as he has two big shots to retie this game. He had one to take the lead a minute ago. This one reties it. 53 apiece here, 12.51 to go. Lamport with a big three just a second ago. Lamport's got the ball again now, right side arc. Now he drives, pulls up, free throw line, jumper, back rim, no. Gets his own rebound, tries to tap it home, nothing doing. Baptiste now, the big guy, running down the floor, kicks corner all alone is Viskovich. That one's a little bit too strong. Corrals his own rebound inside the Baptiste off the glass. Good ball movement that time for Potsdam, and they're back up by two. Now the defense chant coming from the Potsdam bench as Riley Green trying to get this offense organized in the half court. Over to Skorik. 
Score to Koopstis, three ball, yes, sir, we, Lithuanian sensation does it again. Koops is one and three, and boy, that one looks soft coming off the hands. I thought maybe he might airball it front rim or whatnot, but just enough touch on it for the junior from Lithuania. And Skidmore back in front by one, 12 04 to go. Timeout, Potsdam, we'll be back. So Williamson enters the game for Potsdam, who after this has two Liberty League opponents in a row with St. Lawrence and Clarkson. Then they're on the road to their neighbors in Canton. It's a road game against Canton, but it's the same town. So, I mean, that, that's like Hartwick when they played Oneonta. It's the same town. Then they've got Plattsburgh and New Pulse coming up. So uh, a tough stretch of games and a tough test for Potsdam. But, boy, they really thought they had this one going into the half. Skidmore doing their darndest here to uh, make that not the case as that's a block inside. I think Koopstis is going to get the credit for the block. Now Riley Green coming back down the floor with it again. Mishawn Johnson goes up to meet him at the volleyball line. 11.34 to go. Skidmore up by one, 56-55. There's the drive and the, the pass by Riley Green and not on the same page. As Savadis Koopstis there is, he thought he was going to cut to the basket, and he anticipated through that ball, and Koopstis stood still, maybe thought he was going to you know, drive and take it himself, and it's going to be another Skidmore turnover. So only up by one, 56-55, 11-23 to go here in regulation. Mishan Johnson up at the uh, three-point arc now. Pass over to Houston, hits the three. And they're saying it was a, was it a foul? What was the? Foul, also number 32, Dante Viscovich. Okay, so they're going to call the foul on Viscovich as well. So that's a wacky, wacky stretch there. The offensive player shoots from three, gets a foul called against him because I guess his leg came up and hit a player. Or, or saw, I mean, I did not see anything there. If anything, he got fouled. He hit the deck pretty hard on the fadeaway, but they called the foul on him. And I have never seen that before. 